<laughs> All right, so you can see my splits on the top, on the right side. Don't pay attention to those; they're not real splits. They were a task that I used a cloud on, and I had to change it to the orb because it's the only trick I actually know how to do. All right, go. Looks like looks like you guys can see my controller pretty well. So I do I do YI2 first because then I only have to um I never I never get on Yoshi the first try. Oh my, really? How many t That's happened like four times in a row. I tried recording this a little bit ago, and I, things things weren't quite working as well as I was hoping them to. Um, and I ended and I and I and I ended up losing Yoshi in an, I did like four runs, and I ended up losing Yoshi in, in I think three of them. So. And the reason I'm not losing any time here is because I haven't done any split yet. This is my first actual, first actual attempt at doing the orb run because it's not really popular anymore. But I, you know, I the, the cloud is just I don't I don't really know the huge the, like, the hugest difference between the two glitches aside from obviously the level that you do them in. Um. But for some reason, I get the orb way more often than I get the cloud. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. I missed this cool trick that I do, but it doesn't doesn't actually do anything. It just just for swag points. All right. Here we go. Yeah, this cycle should be good. Oh man, no, I gotta wait for it. Okay. Ah, oh, man, okay. So I, um, hold on, I gotta, how do I undo the split? What, I gotta, I gotta pause for a second just to see what I got the, okay, I have eight as the undo. Uh, okay. Ten. Alright, right, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do it again, because I missed the, I missed the orb. But at least now, if I miss the orb, I can start select out, and I won't have to do that again. And the only reason I'm not doing this on an actual Super Nintendo, since I'm using a Super Nintendo controller, you would assume that I would, excuse me, want to be doing it on a Super Nintendo, so, excuse me, so I don't have to worry about all these changes and stuff. But, on the, uh... Super Nintendo. I don't have one. It's the only, it's the only problem. <sighs> Holy crap, bro! I'm a Tass. I'm, a, I'm Tass bot. Oh my god, I got the wall jump. Oh my god, that's going in the video, even if this isn't a successful run. That's still going in the video, even if this isn't a successful run. Oh my god. I'm doing really bad right now, by the way. I think I'll reset if I don't get it within. If I don't get it, uh. This try or the next try, I'm gonna reset. Alright, well that was just bad. But I'll last time I forgot to hit the checkpoint, so I had to start at the beginning when I restart. There we go, that's my little trick. It doesn't do anything, it's just for swag points. I got it. Okay. So I didn't have to worry about that because I got it. Sorry, I got third try. All right. All right. So now we can go head on to Yoshi's Island Three, which I normally don't have many problems on this level, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I didn't mean to get the checkpoint there, but it really doesn't matter. Okay. 
All right. No problems. No problems with this level. Again, the the time the times on the right just pay no attention to those. See, the thing is, I haven't really done an actual, like, you know, literal run of this yet. So, I'm used to doing all these levels as small Mario. So, doing them as big Mario is a bit different than I, I, would, I normally do them. But, it doesn't really change the gameplay. It doesn't really alter the gameplay too much. Like, that that's a trick you can do as both big Mario and small Mario. So. Alright, here's the... Here's, if for, for you guys that haven't seen this, here's going to be the use of the orb. If you don't know what the orb is, that little glitched item at the top of my screen, that's the orb. And what it does is it basically allows me to beat any level instantly. So what we're doing is using it on the castle so I can just instantly beat the level. And I don't have to worry about fighting. Icky. And that's basically, that. that's what the, um, that's what the orb is for in in speed run. In speed run. So yeah. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't the most optimal. It could have been, but it was good enough. And now, now basically, hopefully, if I'm if I get if I'm good enough, I can. I'm going to keep this cape the entire game and never lose it. Although. In the cloud, in, in, if you do the cloud glitch, you can't, you actually can't lose the cape, because then you'll lose the cloud. Um, uh, oh, ooh, got that one. Um, if you, yeah, if, if you're doing the cloud glitch, if you lose the cape, then you also lose the cloud. So, um, so you actually have to be way more careful in that run and this run. You still have to be careful because you don't want to, you don't, like, you know, some capes, some levels you need the cape to beat him. But, you know, most of the levels that most pe that people use cape for, like this level that I just royally screwed up, um, can be beaten without it. Um, just, it's just harder. Well, it's not really harder, it just takes longer. This level is much faster if you have a cape. And, and basically the strategy that is not the strategy that I'm u currently using right now is you would take that shell that I accidentally destroyed, you would kill 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 the um, Koopa and you would take its shell, um, and you would use the shell to go faster in the water instead of the P-switch. You would hit the P-switch and then basically, yeah. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually do, I'm gonna grab the cape. Ooh. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab a spare, even though it does take longer. Um, it's safer in the long run because if I if I lose my cape, I don't have to come all the way back to Donut Plains one to get a new one. Now, Donut Secret House is actually the level that I lose most of my runs to. I was doing a practice before this, and I almost, I, I died on, on Donut Secret House. After, I got, I had two, whoa, I had two capes, and I lost both of them to Donut Secret House, so. So hopefully I won't royally screw it up that much. Of course, this isn't the fastest strategy, because I can't, I can't use the fastest strategies. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good enough. There we go. So right now, um, I'm in, in about 50 seconds would be the timing for the current, I believe the current world record for this category. Um, um, and yeah, com upcoming soon is going to be the timing for the world record in this category, yeah, at least from my knowledge, I might, I'm, it might be better by now, but yeah, so I'm only about, um, uh, well, as you can see on the side, I'm about, I'm a little past halfway done, so yeah, I'm not, this isn't going to be a good time, but I'm going to try. 
There we go, we got that. Alright, I normally don't get these. Oh, okay, I didn't get it this time. Wait, hold on. I can still get it. Oh, I, I think I got it a little bit. Still, not optimal in the slightest. But it was two in-game seconds faster than my previous practice run. So, it's good enough. Star World 2 is probably the easiest level in the entire run. All you have to do is press the button twice, and you're golden. But I'm gonna do this. Ah, oh, that's a task strat that I don't, I, I can't, I can't do. What I was trying to do, there was a task strat that I literally cannot do. So, well, it's, it's almost impossible to do anyway. Oh, all right. Yeah, you could see I'm um, right now behind by about four and a half minutes on my times there. That's a task, so don't worry about it. And then this is another level that I can lose my run to. I just need to focus for this one. Because you, you are flying under the level pretty pretty easily, but there's one specific section that I have lost quite a few practice runs to. Ooh, I did it this time. All right. That little section where the thing goes really low, you can actually land on top of that. So what I do is I try to fly even lower, but that can flying that low can cause you to um, can cause you to basically lose your flying flying too low. It's hard to explain. I flying too low can result in what just happened. Just instead of actually, oh, holy crap! Okay. This is, oh my god, okay, this is hype. Okay, okay, hold on. Holy crap. Oh. I got it! I actually got it that time. Holy crap, okay, this run is hype now. It's not the fastest, it's not the fastest run in the world, but it's the fastest I've done, I've gone so far out of all my practices. I'm going faster than all my pra previous practices. Okay, two capes for the Bowser boss fight. I'm ready for it. I'm ready. Although, um, since I don't have a cloud, I'm gonna have to do this fight pretty normally. Um, but I will try to do some of the skips that you can do without the cloud. Um, believe it or, believe it or not, I don't. I don't. Uh, if you, if you guys, I hope you guys know this. There are skips you can do without the cloud. So what I'm doing right here, I'm not, I'm not hitting Bowser right away. I'm waiting for him to throw another Mecha Koopa, so I can throw this one at him and then save the other one for later. All right. So now, now I have this one, and I'm gonna keep consecutively hitting it so that I can save it, basically. Because if you, if you don't. If you don't hit it enough times, it can it can wake up. So, and you don't want to collect this mushroom because that'll remove my other cape. So what now? What I need to do is I need to stay a little bit to the left. But now he's now he threw, he's throwing the ball. Hopefully, I don't I don't think I don't know if I got it. Oh, I definitely didn't get it. All right. Well, I guess I'm just gonna me throw that at him so that when he throws the, the Mecha Koopas, I get two of them. Hopefully, I didn't screw it up. Okay. No. Okay. It's it's fine. So I'm just not gonna get the final skip. But it's it's fine. This is this is a bad time. But I'm just trying to I'm just trying to land a run, basically. So if I can finish this run then I'll be pretty happy. No matter what time it is. He will throw the Mecha Koopas now. And... Go. 
and I lost my cape, but that's completely not fine. Not fine! No! Oh my god. Oh, what? Oh my god. Alright, guys, I'm gonna end the video there. Because I just... Uh, I hate when that happens. Oh, reset. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, guys, well, thank you so much for watching me fail. Um, let's go ahead and be careful with this. Alright, I'll set this all up after I'm done f recording, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video of me attempting to speedrun Mario and failing pretty badly, uh, and also failing really badly at positioning a camera, I'll position that after I'm done filming, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I'm not sponsored, I'm not being sponsored, but these controllers are actually pretty good for $10, you got two of them, so... Yeah, these are the ones that I bought. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!